I'm going to show you how to create a realistic book cover mock-up template in Photoshop. This is the image that I'm going to work with. And one of the things that you simply cannot do is drag a photo onto the book and then right click and distort it so that you match the corners like a lot of tutorials that I've seen on YouTube tell you to do. If you do this, you'll get the wrong aspect ratio and the image won't look natural. It looks stretched out because you're stretching the corners to a aspect ratio that doesn't match. So how do you create a template so that you can have an aspect ratio that matches the book cover? Well, it's quite simple. First, make sure that you enable your rulers. You can press Control R on Windows. That's Command R on the Mac. Then click and drag these guides onto each of the four corners of the book cover. And the reason that we're doing this is so that we know exactly where we're going to copy pixels from. So I'm just going to click and drag on these rulers to drag out these guides and I can add a point to the corner. And if you don't get it right like I did there, you can click and drag on the guides to move them around. The point is, is that every corner needs to have one of the guides. And by the way, notice how I made a mistake. I went into the vertical ruler, but in reality, I needed a horizontal ruler. So if you need to do that, you don't need to go back out and go on top. All you need to do is hold Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, and the rulers flip. So now that it flipped, I can place it accordingly. And I'm going to go into this ruler here for the bottom corner and right here as well. And again, you can always click and drag and move them if you need to. So now that every single corner has rulers, what I need to do is select the perspective crop tool, which is nested under the crop tool, then click and drag to where the rulers meet on each corner. I have snapping enabled, so that point just snaps right on there. If you don't have snapping enabled, make sure that you go into view and select snap. So now I'm going to just snap this perspective crop and notice that it matches the book cover perfectly. What I'm going to do now is hit enter. And what this tool does is it removes the perspective and it crops the image. So basically all I'm looking at now is the cover and it's the proper aspect ratio that we need. What I'm going to do now is press control A on Windows, command A on the Mac to make a selection around my canvas. Then I'm going to press control C, command C on the Mac to copy so I can copy all the pixels in that selection. And I'm going to press control Z, command Z to undo. And what I want to do is go back into the step just before we crop the image. Then I'm going to press control V on Windows, command V on the Mac to paste the pixels that we copied. I'm going to call this layer book cover. Then I'm going to convert it into a smart object so that I can put that layer into a container and I can distort this container and apply adjustments, distortions, filters, and transformations non-destructively. So once I press Control T, Command T to transform, I can right click and select distort and I can click and drag these corner points to the same corner points that I had before and they will automatically snap to those corners and I get my original image back. It's not going to be a 100% perfect match. It's going to be very, very close. You can probably barely notice the difference. But the point is, this is now a template. If I double click on it, you can see that it opens the book cover without the perspective. Then I can go into view and select clear guides because we don't need them anymore. And anything that I place on this canvas will become part of that book. Let me show you. I'll use the same image I used before and I'll scale it up so that it fills the entire canvas and I'll move it to the right a bit and I'll click on the check mark to commit the changes. If I press Control S on Windows, Command S on the Mac, I will save this smart object and when I go back into my working document, you can see that it now fits in there perfectly and it matches the perspective. At this point, all you need to do is fine tune the small details. There's usually about three things that you need to do. Let me show you what they are. First, you need to make sure that the edges of your image match the book cover. You can do so by pressing Ctrl T on Windows, Command T on the Mac to transform, then right click and select Warp and use the handles to match the edges of your image to the book cover. And the second thing that you might need to do is change your layer's blending mode so that it blends with the actual book cover. If you notice, the book cover has shadows and highlights and you want those shadows and highlights on your book cover and to apply them to your book cover is actually quite simple. All you need to do is go into the blending modes drop down and select multiply. Notice that as soon as you apply this blending mode, the shadows appear over your image and it looks fantastic.
And finally, you need to make sure that your book cover is not covering other areas that shouldn't be covered. For example, in this image, the person's thumb is being covered by the new book cover. This obviously doesn't look very good, but you can easily fix it by creating a layer mask. The way that you would do that is by clicking on the new layer mask icon, then selecting the brush tool from the toolbar and making sure that black is your foreground color and paint on the layer mask over the thumb to reveal it. And when you're done masking, your book cover should look like this. And the best thing about working with a smart object is that you can always replace its contents. If you double click on the smart object thumbnail, you'll open up the new tab and you can bring in any other image that you want to replace the cover. For example, I can drag this image here and transform it accordingly so that it fits on the cover. Once I save it and go back into my working composition, you'll see that Photoshop automatically replaced the cover, but we kept the layer mask and shadows that we worked on earlier.